So this is the old house of the landlord? Yeah. This is the inner garden. All right. It's actually the inner garden. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. But first, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks! Well, in today's video, I'm going to tour you around Anren, which is an ancient town located 41 kilometers from Changdo city. So guys, we are walking on one of these well-preserved historical streets lined up with um, souvenir shops and other vendors who are selling some local uh, products and local delicacies. What's this? This local delicacy. A tofu. This is our main dish. 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 This is our you like the dragon? Dragon. Dragon. Okay, take a picture. Yeah. He chose a dragon because it's powerful. One, two, three, go. Huh? Dragon Boy. <laughs> the entrance and we found this uh, local fruit. What do you call this fruit, Nick? No. <laughs> so take a look at this. Check it out. Sweet. It's focused? Okay. Yeah. Mm. It's slippery. It's good, yeah. It's good. Hola. Anren ancient town is a famed town with 27 mansions, more than of Nanjing's, built during the period of the Republic of China. With a history dating back to 620 AD, Anren Ancient is regarded as one Chinese historic and cultural town and national key town. It is also called the Town of Chinese Museums, because it enjoys more than 40 old mansions and more than 30 museums, among which Liu's Manor, Zhuan Chuan Museum Cluster and Mansions in three ancient streets, which are very famous. Featured architectures involving solemnity, elegance, and appropriateness make Anren ancient town the cultural essence of architecture in Western Sichuan.
as you walk along this ancient town, you will feel a strong antique flavor sent out from brick wood buildings with gray tiles and paved roads. In the gardenized buildings, the symmetrical houses, winding corridors, waterside pavilions, and rockeries are standing side by side. This old town has three ancient streets, namely Shu Ren, Yu Min, and Hongxing Street, which are built in the period of Republic of China. So guys, welcome to An 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 Ren. An Ren. It's an ancient town. After the establishment of private Wenzai Middle School in 1945, Liu Wenzai and his subordinates constructed a street called Shu Ren Street near the school. It used to be an officer's street because eight officers once built their mansions or shops here. Lined with enough mansions and 78 shops, Shu Ren Street is also regarded as authentic mansion street. Constructed in 1939 and funded by Liu Wenzai exclusively, Yu Min Street was equipped with tea houses, theaters, eastern style buildings, as well as marketplace for rice and pigs. With a full length of 260 meters, Hong Xing Street includes 98 shops and is divided into two parts. The shops in northern belong to Liu Wen Zhao while others are in the charge of Liu Wenzai. Hongxing Street was called Weixing Street originally because Liu Wenzhao and Liu Wenzai were also respectively Weixin and Xingting. Just look at the ticket and the real one is there. That one, so you have to go inside. That's the entrance. So guys, Liu's manor contains a former residence of the big landlord Liu Wenzai in South Area and his brother Liu Wenhui's new mansions in North Area. Nowadays, Liu's manor museum is Liu Wenzai's former residence, while Western Sichuan Fox Custom Museum refers to Liu Wenhui's mansion. Liu Wenhui's mansion is a size of approximately 50,000 square meters equivalent to five football fields. It's the largest scale mansion in the plentiful mansions. In fact, Liu Wenhui never lived there because the gorgeous mansion was built just to depict his high status. After national liberation, Liu Wenhui handed in his mansion to his government. Oh, 
Liu's Manor Museum is mainly made up of Xiu Hall, Employer's Hall, living scenes of Liu Wentai, clay sculptures of Asking Rent, and Cultural Treasure Hall, where 20,000 cultural relics and large amount of literature information are kept. These collections combined with distinctive manner make a great contribution to learning and researching on the economy, culture, Sichuan warlord history, and folklore in semi-colonial and semi-feudal China. In other words, Liu's Manor Museum shows an epitome of old China or a section of the history of China social development. So after our tour at Anren Ancient Town, we stopped by this local snack bar and try their icy sweet local snack. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.